Hello, my name is Andrew Quinn. I'm from Glasgow Caledonian University here in Glasgow, Scotland. I'm a lecturer in the in Department of Engineering, although my background is in physics. I also have a responsibility as well as a lecturer for international work within my department, that's the mechanical electrical engineers and other engineers and IT people in the school. So um, I have a reasonable amount of experience in dealing with international partnerships, or Erasmus, which is the agreement we have within uh, Europe, and uh, a lot of projects with international students and with South America and uh, work with India. What I would like to get from COIL is an added value for my students on engineering programs. In engineering, particularly in, in Britain, we have very strict rules and regulations about accreditation, accreditation bodies. And what we discover is that unless you build in flexibility into the curriculum, it's very difficult to introduce a new program without going through a whole series of validation and accreditation issues. So I am very keen for my students perhaps not to disturb the accreditation route, but nevertheless to get a flavor, to get some participation, some experience, often international collaboration and COIL for me seems to be the ideal way to do it. Online, distance learning, call it what you want, participation in some form of program that will be able to, I would say, enhance their employability. So I'm using those words just to justify it may not necessarily be an engineering program. Multidisciplinary, I don't have a problem with that but something in which they can share and gain information from working with students in another country. How that's going to materialize, I'm not sure. It's part of my uh, ambition. And as I said, to deal with it in terms of strictly engineering subjects is quite tricky, quite difficult. I would hope that it would involve some form of interdisciplinary, maybe also some in a voluntary capacity for students. We have a lot of students here, so to deal with it in a non-voluntary capacity may in fact be restrictive or impossible in the first instance. But to deal with it in a voluntary basis, to offer students uh, a program, uh, an ex it's not quite an exchange, but a program of exchange of ideas, perhaps with a, a, a project aim in mind, would to me be an ideal, uh, an ideal outcome. Something that they can participate in and at the end of which they, they can put something in their CV to say, yes, I participated in this, yes, I was a volunteer, yes, we achieved several outcomes. And then, hopefully, would lead more directly to our exchange programs that we offer here in Glasgow Caledonia University. We have an international internationalization agenda, as indeed almost every uni university in the world has now. It's a case of how we facilitate that best to our students. And I suspect that um, anything that I can do to encourage our students to collaborate, to cooperate, to speak foreign languages um, and to appreciate, yes, there is another world outside Glasgow and Scotland and we need to be part of a global citizen to collaborate, to cooperate, to um, trade, all of these things. So I got an objective, that is to have a, a project, be it all short, long, voluntary, not voluntary, whatever it is, with a, a partner within the COIL um, umbrella and I would be keen to have an idea what it, what I thought at the moment is perhaps a sharing of project so for example in Scotland here we may say okay we deal in wind energy someone perhaps in Brazil might say okay we are um, we have a uh, an issue with regards to pollution so between the two of them they share ideas perhaps they, they in fact uh, say okay in Brazil please look at our wind energy 
and let's, as engineers, discuss some of the technical aspects of it. Together with other, um, other aspects. Okay, I think that's probably said uh, a lot, uh, so I will, I will stop now and hopefully uh, look forward to speaking to you or hearing from you soon. Bye.